Welcome to the Tech Travel Geeks review of the Honor 90 smartphone, a premium mid-range smartphone from Honor, which is now available on sale in the UK. Honor very kindly gave us early access to the Honor 90 just before its announcement in Paris earlier this year. I've been using the device as one of my main ones for the last few weeks, and I'm very pleased to say that this is worthy of its predecessors and a very good smartphone in its own right. Since the Honor 50, Honor have not really messed with the winning formula of their smartphones, and that has carried us through the Honor 70 to the Honor 90. So this is the third iteration of Honor's N series, and for around about £449, you get a lot of smartphone. The Honor 90 is unapologetically plastic. The Honor 90, as I said, has a lot of plastic in it, and that's not a bad thing. That adds to the lightness of it. The Honor 90 is very handleable thanks to its curved back, curved display, plastic frame, and that matte finish plastic back. It really is a very usable device without a smartphone cover on it. Now, obviously, we always recommend you have a case on your phone here at Tech Travel Geeks, especially when traveling. You never know when it's going to come in handy. But as I've been reviewing this device, I've not used a smartphone cover. And I have to say, the experience has been unusually very pleasant. That lightness makes the Honor 90 ideal for long sessions, whether you're using social media, watching videos, or scrolling through TikTok or Reels. Anything you're usually using your smartphone for can be done for longer and, in my opinion, more pleasantly on the Honor 90. And that's due to the overall performance for actual human beings, which is powered by a powerful chipset and Honor's Magic OS. The really good thing is that you get a nice big clear OLED screen and it doesn't feel like that big of a display because of the way it's curved and the way it feels in your hand. It's an excellent device ergonomically. Unlike the Honor Magic 5 Pro, which we thought was a bit heavy, especially due to that giant camera module in the back. The camera module on the Honor 90, while it contains all the amazing tech that's in there, is on one side of the device. So if you put it down on a surface, it will be a bit of a wobbly phone. If, for example, you're wanting to quickly respond to a text message with one hand. Bear that in mind, but with most smartphone cases, which we always recommend you have, the Honor 90 will have that problem go away. So let's talk about the chipset. This is running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. So this is not quite a flagship chipset, but for a premium mid-range smartphone is much more than enough for most people. It makes the device capable of recording 4K video as well as playing back video in full high definition plus. Whether you're streaming video or you've saved it on the internal memory, the Honor 90 is a very capable media consumption device as well as a media creation device. The fast internal storage, plenty of memory, and more than capable cameras is great if you're wanting to create content. And we'll go into a little bit more depth in the cameras later on. But the main thing you'll be interacting with on this smartphone is that lovely OLED display. It's a 6.7 inch 1200 by 2664 pixels. This is more than we were used to. And Honor put those extra pixels on that lovely display to good use. The Honor 90's display is a 120 hertz one, which means it has a very fast refresh rate. And I noticed no lag or stuttering on the device in my weeks of using it. It is a really, really pleasant experience. Now, obviously, within the Magic OS settings, you can tune how you want that display refresh to perform. You can either have it on dynamic, where it will scale up and down to save battery life and give you a better experience, or you can just lock it in and deal with a slightly worse battery life. Either way, Magic OS gives you lots of options. Magic OS, in this case, is Magic OS 7.1 running on Android 13. It seems to be quite common for Honor devices launched this year. We've seen it previously in various other Honor smartphones. So if you haven't already, check out our Honor Magic 5 Lite and Honor Magic 5 Pro reviews here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. As of the end of July 2023, this review device of the Honor 90 is running the June 2023 security update for Android. 
This is ahead of the Magic 5 Pro in the same time period, but we, it is to be seen if Honor can be reliable on delivering security updates and OS updates for the Honor 90. Overall, the Magic OS experience is very familiar if you've already had an Honor device or you come from the fruity smartphone world. By default, you don't have an app drawer, but you can change that in the settings. You can turn dark mode on and off and tweak all the settings to your heart's content. But leaving on most defaults is quite a good experience overall. Honor, since the Honor 50, have had access to Google Play services, and that's been a great thing. Not only can you use it to download and update all your favorite apps safely and from places that you may have already purchased content from, you can also use the Honor 90 for NFC payments and access to public transit over NFC. That's really good to see, and it works very, very well for me. The Honor 90 is paired with a comfortable amount of memory, which could be eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 or 512 gigabytes of storage. There is no expandability of storage here, as with many other devices in this price category. If you haven't already, check out Samsung A54 5G, because that is one of the few devices in this price category which does have expandable storage. When it comes to its longevity, the battery is excellent. It's surprisingly good and quite an upgrade from last year's Honor 70, in my experience. That's probably due to the fact that the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chipset that is running on the device is particularly efficient, and partly because Honor have tuned Magic OS to be even more friendly to those of us with battery anxiety. The Honor 90 also fast charges using 66 watt fast chargers. Sadly, if you live in Europe or you're buying this device in Europe, you won't be getting a fast charger in the box. You'll either have to make use of one you previously had or spend some money and get a 66 watt fast charger to use with the Honor 6 amp cable that comes in the box. That cable is not always compatible with other fast chargers, so do make sure that whoever you're buying your charger from makes it clear if it is compatible with Honor they do have a slightly different charging standard to other brands, and it is something that people have been caught out by in the past. Anyway, 66 watt fast charging does get rid, uh, rid of quite a lot of battery anxiety, because that means that you can charge your device more than half in around about 20 minutes, if you're around about the 10% mark. Just bear in mind things like temperature, the quality of your charger and cable can all make a difference here. The Honor 90 also have a, has a little feature which might be useful to those of you who have another device. You can reverse charge over the cable from the USB Type-C port. So for example, if you wanted to charge your earbuds that have a USB Type-C port, you can just reverse charge that way. It's a really handy feature and one that I've used myself on the train into Edinburgh once. The selfie camera is a dot or a cutout in the center of the screen at the top of the device. That selfie camera is a 50 megapixel sensor, which does a decent job of taking pictures in good lighting conditions, but can be having a bit of a struggle in lower light conditions. The good news is that thanks to the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chipset, you are able to record 4K video with this device. And the decent microphones give you the option to record decent quality video. So if you're a creator or someone wanting to do some vlogging, or Instagram Reels or TikToks, the Honor 90 is a really good option in this space. Likewise, the cameras on the back are a bit of a mixed experience. The main sensor is a 200 megapixel one. That allows you to take decent quality pictures, which are obviously cropped, and also allows you to do a lossless 2x zoom. Essentially, it's just taking a crop of the digital image to give you two times zoom. And further zoom is all digital. The 200 megapixel sensor takes decent shots in good lighting conditions. I was quite happy with the overall performance, though it does suffer in low light. And to add to that, I would say that similar sensors with lower megapixel count but bigger sensor do give you better pictures. In this price category, it's difficult to avoid making a direct comparison with the Google Pixel 7a. It's pretty much the same price, 
And when it comes to cameras, it's much easier to take a great shot than it is on the Honor 90. Bear that in mind, the numbers don't necessarily mean that you'll get the best experience. The Honor 90, though, is a very capable camera and it is paired with an extra ultra-wide sensor. That ultra-wide sensor is a 12 megapixel one. It takes decent shots, though there is a slight degradation of colors in most lighting conditions. If you take a shot with the main sensor, it will pick up slightly more vibrant and happy colors compared to the, that, the ultra-wide sensor. And then Honor have added one of those cameras that we don't really cover here on the Tech Travel Geeks. That's a two megapixel depth sensor. The portrait pictures that the Honor 90 produces are quite usable, especially on social media, but do a bit of pixel peeping and you will notice that edges and stray hairs do get blurred out, even if they do produce an overall pleasant picture in most cases. So camera wise, the Honor 90 is very capable and when it comes to video recording it can record 4K video at 30 frames per second. So again if you're running a YouTube channel and you want to use the Honor 90 to take some decent quality video it is capable of doing so. Just bear in mind there might be a little bit of effort required to set up your framing and make sure you have the right focus points. The Honor 90 is, as most modern smartphones, one that does not have a headphone jack. It doesn't have a courage port. But over Bluetooth connections, it works great. I have paired it with my Honor Earbuds 3 and had a great time listening to some excellent music and watching great content on the device. Over Bluetooth, with decent quality Bluetooth earbuds, I noticed no lag and no real issues. Speaking of sound, the Honor 90's speaker is a single bottom firing speaker. This can be annoying when playing video games because if you're holding the device in landscape, it's quite easy to cover the speaker and have a bit of a more muffled experience or miss out on some audio content. But if you're in a relatively quiet hotel room or in a relatively quiet environment, it will do a decent job for playing audiobooks or podcasts. I would say that one of the reasons the Honor 90 only has one speaker is probably to keep the price of the device affordable. So overall, the Honor 90 is a great smartphone. Is it a great smartphone against its competition in this price category? Well, that's for you to decide. All I'm going to say is that for the price, you're getting a very good value proposition from Honor. It's a great smartphone, and if you're coming from a previous Honor device with Google Play services, you'll feel right at home with this device. My only concern is that if you put it up against the Google Pixel 7a, you'll come up a little bit short when it comes to camera performance, which for most people is very, very important. And overall, the software experience, in my view, is slightly better on the Google Pixel devices. But if you want a much nicer, larger display, if you want a lovely ergonomic experience, the Honor 90 is a very good option for you to consider at this price point. One thing is, there are lots of memory and storage variants of the Honor 90, so double check before purchasing in your market for not only the memory and storage options, but also what's actually in the box. We're thinking about things like chargers and additional cases. Anyway, the Honor 90 is definitely a great smartphone and an excellent iteration on the Honor N series from the Chinese smartphone maker. It's a solid device with great services through Google and other providers and which delivers a great overall experience. The battery life is excellent and the cameras are decent. If you disagree with our opinion or you'd like to let us know your thoughts, leave us a comment in the section below. It's always good to have some lively commentary in the comment section to trick Google into promoting us in their algorithms. Thanks for watching this far into the Honor 90 review here at Tech Travel Geeks. If you'd like to see more from us, we cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. Make sure you have that notification bell turned on so you get notified when we publish our latest videos. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from us.